Last week I did a basic training course for a lot of folks who wanted some basics about the computer and believe it or not we spent over half an hour on just the mouse. And one of the big things that people wanted me to demonstrate was how to use the mouse properties. Go to the control panel, no matter what version of Windows you're using, then click mouse. When the mouse properties comes up you can do lots of different things. For some people double clicking is a challenge and one thing you can do to improve your double clicking success is right here in the middle of the very first page of the mouse properties is slow down the double click requirement. So now if I click very slowly the double click works. If you need to speed it up you just drag this to the right and then you can speed it up to a, a different speed. If you're left handed you can switch the primary buttons of your mouse so that the right mouse button is the primary button and the left one is the secondary. So you can do that here. Under pointers we talked about making your cursor larger especially on high resolution screens. Sometimes it's hard for people to pick up the mouse. So if you click here under scheme you'll find different options for your mouse and a lot of folks do like to have the large mouse and in some cases you can make the mouse extra large and then black and that's easier for some people to pick up as well. And under the pointer options is another place where folks who are having a tough time finding the mouse or seeing the mouse on the screen, you can slow down the pace of the mouse. You can see how slow the mouse is moving. Or I can speed the mouse up and now it zips around very quickly. So you can set the mouse speed to whatever is best for you. I'm going to skip the snap too because for most people, especially beginners, I do not recommend this setting because it'll position your mouse in places and in settings that you probably don't want. So I would not use this. The hide pointer while typing is pretty standard. That's usually checked. As you're typing an email or on a word processing document, the pointer or the little arrow here will be hidden. And then once you stop typing, it comes back into view. You can't see it on my screen recording software here, but if you enable the display pointer trails, you'll get a little trail of pointers or arrows that look like this and it makes it easier for people to pick up where the mouse is on their screen. The other option for making the mouse easy to find is when you have this checked and you push the control key on your keyboard you can see those rings that start large and then narrow down right onto where my pointer is. So these are great little tools to help folks that do have low vision to be able to find where that mouse is on the screen into the wheel section if you have a little wheel on your mouse you can make changes to how quickly the scroll wheel will scroll through a document by setting the changes in here so that's it those are the standard mouse properties that have been available from Windows 98 all the way through now to Windows Vista and even Windows 7 this looks pretty standard now if you've installed any of the software for your mouse like a Logitech mouse or a higher-end Microsoft mouse you may even have more options available to you but hopefully some of these tools will make the mouse work better for you.